Hey folks, welcome to Verified Investing. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. In today's video, I want to cover the technical analysis on Bitcoin as well as ETH. We're going to look at the charts, the key levels, and the near-term forecast. All right, so let's jump right into the charts here and take a look. We start out with a clean slate, just candlesticks on the daily chart. First things first, we have to draw in our main trend line that has been broken, and we draw it right here. And you can see very, very clearly how this was going back to the April lows. Now, why is that low important? Because it is the biggest or most significant low going back to 2024, almost a year ago, right? So again, major pivot low. It began the uptrend from April. And by the way, this is when we had the Liberation Day sell off in asset prices. So it's also major because of that. Notice when you connect it through this one pullback lowest point here, it gives us exactly the last pullback before the final push up. And what we can see is off of that, and by the way, that's a classic double top. And just for those of you that are interested in, in learning educational technical analysis, it's very common for double tops to pierce. All right, they do that, number one, because it gets more people bullish thinking it's gonna break up. And it's also done because there's a lot of stops that are put just above and the algorithms always want to take out those stops. And when someone that's short gets stopped out, what do they have to do? They have to buy back the Bitcoin. So there's additional buying. So essentially piercing is a very natural course of action. The stops get triggered, which then causes more buying to push it up just a little bit. But once those stops have been covered, uh, essentially the buying is complete, then the reversal starts. And you can see this big red candle here. That's never good. If you ever see that in any chart, commodity, crypto, or uh, stock, Look for downside. Again, big green up, double top, and then engulfing reversal, bearish signal right there. And we can see again, price came down, broke, confirmed, retraced to the scene of the crime, which again, remember the old adage in technical analysis is that support once broken becomes resistance and it got rejected. Now, one other thing I want to point out here is that we had in the last few days, Bitcoin tried to push up with the stock market initially on the back of the jobs report. And this is the key, right? So if we look at a trend line right here, this is really, really important. We can see there's a major level right through here. It goes all the way back to May. You can see we broke out. It then became support, went up. Then what we broke the upsloping one came, became support, bounced, broke resistance and look it held again and so if you're a bull on bitcoin what you need to see is basically this 12 112,500 300 to 500 level we need a daily close above that and then a confirming candle then you could start talking about moving back towards your all-time highs but as long as we remain below this trend line basically the bears have the edge all right i'm not going to say there's a huge edge here it's not a huge edge but they do have an edge. And so ultimately, again, this rejection means the bears continue to control on this side of the trend line and the downside is slightly more favored. Now, if we head lower, where would be our next technical support? And the answer is very simple here. You can see right through here, this would be your next support basically at 100,000. It's the low pivot bounced up, low pivot bounced up, and then low, it tried to pierce, wasn't able to, and that now becomes support, or that is support, right? It was support over here. It's been away. It's had a chance to harden up. That's how trend lines work, by the way, is the more you hit on them in succession, they weaken. It didn't hit enough to break over here. It went away. This support level was a, be able to be reinforced, so you would expect some sort of bounce if Bitcoin comes down. And that's basically my near-term downside target. So, you, so near-term, we have a short-term bearish bias. Just again, favoring the downside because we haven't gotten through this 112,500 level to the upside with confirmation. And again, downside would be about 100,000 as your target. All right. All right. So that's your um, short term analysis. And by the way, if we did get above this 112,500 level and confirm, you'd start looking for a move up to this zone around 123,000. So this level to me is pretty important. It is pretty important. No doubt about it. All right. Turning our attention to ETH. ETH has been much stronger than Bitcoin, but the question is, will that last? Let's put in our trend line, okay? This is a little bit concerning to me, all right? Now, you haven't confirmed a breakdown yet, but 
We have this longer term trend line, right? It's the lowest point of interest from this point here, which was a great bullish consolidation flag to the next move, pullback move. This again, my friends, is concerning. Now, again, like I said, it has not confirmed a breakdown yet, so it could get saved. But if it confirms a breakdown here, let's say we come down here, there'll be a little bit of support at 4,070. But then really what you're looking at is this area here, which is my target, and that is around 3870. All right. So again, little minor level here. This is your major level here. Again, how would I rank this? Would I give this a bearish or a bullish bias? Right now, it would be a neutral but you're on watch for it flipping negative. And I say that because if you confirm to the downside here, then it flips negative. And you're, you're basically your odds go to about 70, 75% chance that you're headed down to 38.70 on Ethereum. So really, really important right here to monitor. Again, we have to watch very closely to see if this confirms. I would say any close below 42.50 confirms it, essentially, from what I'm saying. 42.50, a daily close below 42.50 without recapturing that trend line to the upside. That would confirm it and solidify a 75% chance that price goes down to 38.70 on Ethereum. Now, if it doesn't confirm and rallies back up, it still could easily go back up to its double top high around the 5,000 marker. All right, so really, again, the next day or two is going to be incredibly important for ETH, and we're going to be watching to see where it goes the bias right now would be a neutral but if it confirms to the downside negative bias downside 3870 all right any any daily close below 4250 and the odds 75 percent chance it goes to that 3870 level all right if it doesn't close below there neutral if it recaptures that upsloping ascending trend line it flips back to bullish and you can move up to your all-time highs. And again, the key here is understanding, and I hope you guys understand this, is that charting is about probabilities. Every move up or down will change those probabilities. A good trader is not biased. You know, listen, we all have our favorite cryptos, we all have our favorite stocks, but when it comes to trading, you can't let that sway, sway you one way or the other. You have to remain neutral and let the chart decide. And that's why I basically tell you guys, if we close below here, the chart says down here, that's probability versus if you close back above bullish bias. And so really for us, simply put, we have the levels. Now, where does it close? Game on to that direction. All right, guys, I wanted to get you guys your analysis this weekend. You guys are amazing. Your comments are amazing. Your likes, I mean, everything, folks. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I always thank you guys for your support. I try to really bring a non-biased view because, again, if you're like me, everywhere you turn online, there's a narrative, there's a spin, there's hype, there's FUD, whatever. And the answer is just follow the charts. The charts are our friends. They're the only thing out there that has no agenda, right? And so if we can just follow them, the thought process is we should be able to make good decisions based on probability and make money. Have a great one, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.